This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna take a degradation test of this BMW i3 with 175,000 kilometers on the odometer. That's roughly 110,000 miles, and it's from 2016, so that's seven year old. And this is from Elbil Mac. I wonder if this is one of the loaners. If you go go there to get your car repaired, you can borrow this car maybe so yeah um, first we're gonna check uh, you know the car has some uh, uh, service menu you can see how many kilowatt hour you get there uh, but also I have this app called electrified so if you fire up the car now uh, I need to stop this okay stop eight right for now fire up electrified connect um, it, you know, initially, this is a 60 amp hour battery. I don't know why they operate with amp hours. Maybe because it sounds bigger than 22 kilowatt hour. But you see that the car, I mean, this um, app reports state of health to be 84%. And then, oh yeah, washer. Fluid. Oh yeah, I need to fill washer. Fluid. Oh yeah, good thing it has a warning. And you see 50.9 um, amp hour left out of 60 initially. But okay, so I will go into the service menu. There's a sequence here. You have to press and hold this button. Oh, 16.1 kilowatt hour. Initially, when the car was new, it had 18.8 .8 kilowatt hour. Okay, let's see if we actually get 16.1 then. All right, we're on the move. Uh, we're already down to 94%. <laughs> this test doesn't take too long. Yeah, so here you see the odometer, but this is kind of clumsy. If you want to see temperature, you have to switch. You have to click the board computer. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's zero degrees Celsius outside today. So um, let's just uh, keep driving north. Not too long before we have to turn around. And then how is Mjösen today? Uh, okay, we have wind from the south. That's why it's so warm now. Uh, oh, almost no wind. Okay. So I think I have to turn around here. Uh, I'm 34 kilometers away from uh, Gardermoen where I want to stop. And we have 54 kilometers of range. And see, we have done only 36 kilometers. <laughs> um, yeah, because if I go further, then it might be too far. All right, I'm almost done with the test. Uh, we are 3.2 kilometers away from the fast charger. And I have six kilometers of range left. Actually, initially I had uh, yeah, less than that, but I had to enable Eco Pro Plus. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, heater is off now, but when you have low state of charge, you are sweating. Yeah, so no problem. All right, we are done. D-O-N, here we have the stats. We drove uh, 92.5 kilometers with uh, consumption 165. And then we have 5.1%, uh, but I don't dare to go deeper because uh, GOM claims three kilometers. So yeah, with all cars, you don't want to go too deep. So let's plug it in and then calculate. Okay, charge the car to 100% again. I want to test something else here. If we are hammering it, how much losses do we have? And then how many kilowatt hour out of the battery do we get then? Okay, let's uh, go. Uh, we're on the move. I was stuck behind some left lane huggers. So I'm trying to hammer it. Uh, fortunately, over here, it should be nice and clear. So the average speed is not too high yet. And also the consumption is not too high as well. Let's try to crank up everything then. We are now at Minnesota and yeah. We arrive at 4%, we have 7.4% left. Okay, it was 7.5 initially. Uh, that's where I took, took the checkpoint. And then we have uh, distance. Well, okay, distance, Th this is more accurate distance with decimal. And based on all this, uh, we have 15.8 uh, kilowatt hour. That's not too bad if we can get 16.1 according to the butt kappa max. So it should indicate that this battery uh, has low internal resistance. Yeah, okay, even when you hammer it. But okay, keep in mind that we were stuck behind some traffic, some campers, so it's not an optimal high speed run, but uh, good enough. But yeah, based on my test now, we see that we actually get 16.1 kilowatt hour, just like the car claims. But uh, I've seen that the, the bat kappa max might sometimes be a bit off, but in this case, it was actually nice uh, and correct. And also, I've seen it before, it wasn't that in the that was in the 42 kilowatt hour uh, Beaver also. No, no, uh, this is not the Beaver. The Beaver is the iX and the i4. This is the hamster. Yeah, the hamster. I forgot. But um, yeah, so that means 14.4% um, degradation. That's not too bad considering that this car has driven a lot for a small battery. 
I estimated it's almost 2,000 cycles. So yeah, I mean, uh, according to all the skeptics, this car should be on the junkyard ready and the, and the battery should be kaput if it didn't explode already. So it can probably drive a long more distance before the battery becomes so bad that uh, it's unusable. But you know, 16.1 kilowatt hour is still okay. Think about this, my Leaf has only 13 kilowatt hour, or actually I'm not sure how much you can use, let's say at least 12 kilowatt hour. But the Leaf charges so slow, here we still get good charging speed until around 60, 70%. So, uh, you know, this i3 can probably drive at least 300,000 kilometers before you might consider trashing it or something. But it's it was designed to be a city car and it will still work as a city car for many, many years. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.